A new face but familiar name will be on the ballot in February's special election to fill Elijah Cummings' vacant congressional seat. WJZ is live. Paul Gessler explains Cummings' widow is running to fill the seat. Paul? Denise, the secret is out. Maya Rocky Moore Cummings made it official on national TV last night and in her West Baltimore home Tuesday. I am here today proudly announcing my candidacy for the U.S. Congress. <laughs> Nearly four weeks after her husband's death, Maya Rocky Moore Cummings tells her supporters she's running for her late husband's seat. This race is going to be a sprint. It's going to be a sprint to the finish. Rocky Moore Cummings has a Ph.D. in political science, runs a consulting firm in D.C., and until yesterday was the chair of the state's Democratic Party. Former Congressman Kwaisi Mfume announced a run last week. State Senator Jill Carter and Delegate Talmadge Branch are among the others in February's special election primary. This is about the future and not the past. Uh, it's also about leadership. It's about having the utmost integrity. In May, Rocky Moore Cummings was subject of an IRS complaint from a conservative group alleging she benefited illegally from her nonprofit. I'll be willing to stand before anyone uh, and refute those claims. The president of a watchdog group confronted Cummings after her announcement. On April 29th, I called you and asked for a copy of your 990, your tax return. Yeah, okay. your Cummings walked away. She called the complaint baseless. There's no merit to the IRS complaint. Uh, the fact of the matter is I've upheld the highest ethical standards with my organization. She also announced Tuesday she's moving forward with a preventative double mastectomy because of her family history of breast cancer. Though she says she's healthy, her mother died from the disease and younger sister was recently diagnosed. She'll be off the campaign trail for two weeks. The date was scheduled long before uh, he ever died, long before this ever happened. And the date is Friday. Back live now here in West Baltimore. Since Barbara Mikulski left the U.S. Senate in 2017, Maryland's congressional delegation has consisted entirely of men, mostly Democrats, with the exception of Congressman Andy Harris. The special election primary, meanwhile, is scheduled for February 4th. Reporting live in West Baltimore, Paul Gessler for WJZ.